So I'd like to share with you the perfect way to create a one-person business if you're 50, 60 and over. And it might surprise you a little bit. So you want to create this one-person business. You're 50, you're 60, you're a little bit older. You're like, well, what do I do? What do I talk about? What do I say? What do I write? What do I create? What do I set? There's so many what do I's. But here's what I recommend. And it sounds a little bit counterintuitive. For a minute, forget about who it is you're helping. Now, I know that's the opposite. I know what we always hear is who is your audience? Who are you serving? Who are you talking to? Who are you helping? But the reality is it's your business, it's your rules, and it's something you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. And yeah, we still have plenty of runway to go. I don't care if you're 50, 60, or 70, or 80, or 90. I have one, one member who's 93 years old. He's just getting warmed up. Oh, yeah. So, what do you do? Where do you start then? If you're not talking about your audience, you might be thinking, well, do you start with the product I'm going to create? I want to sell this supplement or this, this special cream for a face or e-commerce or Amazon. But here's another counterintuitive thing. I say start with you. Start with, it's, it's going to sound selfish, but what is it you like to do? What is it you want to do? Now, I'm not just talking about, you know, Oh, I, I want to like help the world. I want to impact one million lives. Now I'm talking about like getting in the weeds and thinking about the skills. So what does your ideal day look like? Ask yourself that question. So meaning when you wake up and it's a perfect day, say you have 10 million, 50 million, hundred million dollars in the bank, money's no object. What does your perfect day look like? Now you might say, well, Ryan, well, it's, you know, I want to lay at the beach and drink margaritas. Okay, that gets old after a while. Maybe a long time, but <laughs> it does get old. I'm talking about like from a workday perspective. And it might be like, hey, I would love to wake up in the morning and, you know, read the newspaper. Yeah, old school newspaper, right? Or write an email or maybe do a coaching call or do a social post or record a video like I'm doing here, like a little walk and talk video. So getting out from the, well, here's kind of what I like to do. Here's my passion too. Let's get in the weeds and say, what's a specific skill, a thing, an activity you see yourself doing that's related to your business. It's funny. I did a coaching call with someone recently and she, I said, okay, what's your dream business? She said, oh, I want to coach. I, I, I want to have a coaching business. I want to do this. There's this big term in marketing called high ticket coaching. You know, I want to charge $5,000 for coaching and teach people this, this specific skill. I don't want to give away her market. But I said, okay, well, and I ran her through this, this kind of activity. Well, what does your ideal day look like? What does that look like? And she said, oh, well, first I want to wake up and have my cup of coffee and then have breakfast with my kids. They're, they're teenagers. They're 17 and 18 and, you know, do a little stretching routine, and then I love writing. So I definitely want to sit down, and I want to do what you do, Ryan. I want to write an email a day or an email every other day. And then, you know, I like doing social posting, so I might want to do a post. Her, her uh, platform of choice was LinkedIn, so I want to do a little LinkedIn thing. I want to answer some questions. And then, and then she went on and on, and kind of, it was more about writing and creating. I said, that's great awesome, right? That's the business you want. But what about coaching calls? Where does that fit in? And she's like, oh, well, maybe I'll have a client or two. I said, well, do you want to have a client? Do you want to coach them? Like, do you want to do this? She's like, well, maybe not. And it was like this big aha, this big epiphany, because the reality is she didn't really want to do coaching. And there's nothing wrong with that right? That's, it's her business. It's her life. It's her choice. Great. You don't want to do coaching. You don't have to. But sometimes we feel like we're forced into these business models we don't necessarily want to do because maybe we've heard about it. Maybe we saw an ad with some guy. Dude, I just built my coaching practice from zero to a hundred thousand a month working one hour a day. That's BS by the way. But anyway, I digress. My point is Maybe you don't want to coach, then don't coach. Or maybe you are, you're like, I just want to have more of a one person business that's based around email. Great. Let's do that. Let's build your business 
So it's focused on that. Well then, how am I gonna monetize? And then we start getting into, okay, what's the monetization of this? Well, if you're not doing coaching, maybe you're like, okay, well, I would love to do writing and it's more of a premium newsletter. So people are gonna pay for a premium version of it, you get your regular newsletter, and then you have a pro version. And maybe it's $5 a month, or 20, or 50, or 100. I had a newsletter that was $97 a month, we had almost 3,000 members. It's a good business. That was a good business, and I love doing it. And my point is, it's not, to, it's not to brag, it's like, oh my God, I'm so smart. The point is, I found something I loved doing, which was writing emails. Like, that was my thing. Again, for you it might be writing emails, for you it might be selling products, and like you want, maybe you want to go to a local, um, I was gonna say flea market, not the flea market, the, the farmer's market, <laughs> I knew his market. Because we have a farmer's market here, and maybe that's your thing. You're like, you know what? My dream business would be actually creating homemade peanut butter. That's my thing. I don't need to build a multi-million dollar business. I want to do it by myself. Maybe I could have my kids or my spouse or my boyfriend or my girlfriend helping me make the peanut butter, and then we package it, and we sell it at farmer's markets, and then we could sell it online, and that's my thing, right? That's my jam. That's what I see myself doing every day is actually in the weeds marketing and promoting my peanut butter and coming up with peanut butter recipes and writing emails about peanut butter. Yes, you can actually write emails about peanut butter. My whole business, Rewind, which was a bar company and then we sold greens, was all about um, selling these products. And I sell them, I se sell them, sell them isn't a word. I sold them, I sold a lot of them, I sold millions of dollars worth, just through email, through again, my thing, my strength, my business, so my one, one person business is waking up in the morning, having my morning routine and stretching and seeing my kids, usually running out to get my wife Starbucks and coming back and then sitting down either at the house or at a coffee shop and writing my email to people I love helping and I love serving. And everything I'm doing is building my one person business around that. And that is what I want for you, to find your thing, to sit down and think, okay, here's my dream business, here's what I really wanna do, here's what I envision myself doing every day, here's the perfect day, this is it. And, and my question is, why can't you have your perfect day, or as close to your perfect day as possible every day, by building it around the things you like to do, and the skills, not just I want to help people, I want to change the world, I want to change lives. Amazing, awesome, do it, go for it. But at the end of the day, you're gonna to have to sit down and like do the work. And if you're doing the work that you enjoy doing, it's usually a combination of stuff you enjoy and you're good at, right? You might love writing and be terrible. You will get better. Everything you can get better. You can get better at doing videos like this. You just have to put in the reps. The more you do it, the better you're going to get. Let's end the video here, enough of me rambling, and I'm almost at the end of the street here in beautiful downtown New Canaan, Connecticut, but right now ask yourself and get real with it. Like, what does your dream day look like? What do you see yourself doing business and skill-wise? And let's do everything we can to build the business around that. If you agree, if this feels good to you, why don't you hit the like, why don't you hit subscribe, and then why don't you watch this next video? YouTube likes when you watch the next video. It says, oh my God, this guy Ryan is doing cool stuff, so let's show him to more so he can help more people. So help me help you do good stuff, figure out what it is you want to do, and let's do that. I'll see you in the next video.